Yeah, hello and welcome here in the showroom of Homark Shopfloor. So I already logged in into Twinview with my Tapia account. So and as you can see, we have a nice overview of all the tools we already added to our subscription. So basically the overview is always the same. You see a product picture, you see a product description, you see the location where the tool is located, and you see the availability of the tool. If it's green, which is available, orange, which means like the tool is in use, like on a machine, and red, which means it's at the sharpening service, so it's out of the company right now. Um, so basically, what's really interesting here is that you have a whole transparency by looking on the overview of Twinio. So you can click on every tool to get a more, uh, more um, functions and more actions and, and more things you can do with your tool. So when I click here on the tool, you see once again uh, the information from the overview and you have also different types of actions you can do with the tool. So for example, you can, uh, you can have a look at the process data. Process data means this is, this is data uh, regarding, for example, for saw blades, cutting length, cut, uh, cut volume, or cut counts. So you as a customer, you can set up a limit value uh, from your personal experience, and then you either um, put in the, act, uh, the, the latest value of the process data after production process or your machine is top you ready, connected and has the technical requirements and then the machine is sending those process data automatically to Twinio and updates the values. So more or less it will help you to know when your tool will, will, uh, has to go to the sharpening service. So it's not that you hear it or you can see it and you have to prove it. It's more or less you have the data now and then you can say, okay, this tool has to go to the sharpening service. Also, all those tool data is like uh, in Twinio. So when your machine is connected and has the technical requirements, for example, a Sawtech by Homec can get the tool data straight from Twinio on the machine. So no manual typing of data, of tool data. It's more or less you select the tool you want to use for the production process and then all the tool data will go straight into the program on the machine and you can start production. So this is the big advantage as well that all the machines will be connected with Twinio so that you have a nice exchange between on the one side the process data, on the other side the tool data which you can then retrieve from Twinio. Um, when you click here on a process data, you also see the historical data of the process data. That means like you see always the limit value and you see how the tool was, uh, has performed in the past. So in which cycle, uh, which data was processed, how was the performance of the tool. You see if it was an overperformance or underperformance. When you click on the pen, you can set your limit value in a manual way, like more higher or more, uh, a little bit more less. And you can also uh, update the value on a manual way, as I already explained, or it's coming straight from the machine. Um, what you can also do here in that action sheet is you can assign location. So right now the tool was on the tool storage place one. I'm going to assign it now to a machine. I confirm it. So now the availability is switching from green to orange. That means like everybody knows here this tool is on a machine and is uh, like in production. So um, it's not available for other machines in the company. Um, what you can also do here on the action sheet, you can always update the measuring data of the tool, which is very important after sharpening, for example, which I come back later. Um, what's also interesting here is the whole topic of sharpening. So we can, um, we can place uh, tools to sharpening services, like in a manual way, so that everybody in the company knows this tool is like not in the company anymore, it's at the sharpening service. Uh, so I'm gonna do that process one time. First of all, I click on sharpening. Twinio recognize, hey, this tool is on a machine. First, you have to unmount the, the tool from the machine to give it to the sharpening service. So I said, yes, reset the location, please, of the tool. Now I can say, yes, I want to go furthermore and get the tool to the sharpening. So right now, the availab availability switched it now from uh, orange to green and now to red for sharpening. This all happens automatically. So when the tool comes back from the sharpening service, I say, okay, I want to complete the sharpening. So what's happening now here, the availability is switching to green. 
and automatically the measuring tool uh, sheet is popping up and says like hey please enter the new and the latest measuring data of the tool because it's changed after sharpening so here I say for example okay uh, it's 29.6 instead of 29.7 and now the latest data is uh, stored at the tool and what also happening here all the process data is set to zero because it's a new sharpening cycle which was created and it begins at zero and now you can work with the tool and gain more and more values uh, in the direction of the limit value when you click here for example on uh, details this is the detail view of the uh, um, of the tool uh, you have here all the blue hooks which means like all the integrated partners by tapio for example loico aka agefa or canifusa they already sent data straight in our system so this is like all under the technical data you see um, the, the the tool card is digitalized here in twinio already that means this is a really verified data from the manufacturer so you as a customer when you use that data you have the certified data from a manufacturer also when you add a tool to twinio we creating a unique id for every single tool that means like when you click here on the qr code you can print out that QR code and give it on packages, on boxes, on plastic labels for the tools. And by scanning out of the um, uh, application itself, you can scan DMC codes, uh, barcodes, QR codes, identify the, the tools, and then you can work with the tools by easily scan it and make some actions with it. Um, when we go to another tool, for example, here, uh, this tool under the section more, you can edit specific parameters of the tool. So, for example, display name and you can uh, add comments to the tool. Display name is quite interesting because a lot of customers, they are working with their own uh, wording of their tools. So then you can just like easily click in, type in the display name you want to see in the overview of the tools. And then you can work with your own names instead of the production names by manufacturers. Um, what's also interesting is, for example, here, when you click on the more sections, you can attach files to the product. That means you click uh, on attach files. You can select files either from the photo library or you can take a photo uh, here from scratch. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to make a picture. And then you use the picture. You can easily, either you can delete it or you can use it if it was a good one. And then you're going to click upload. And then the picture will be stored on the tool here on the on the detail view of that tool so as you can see here um, the picture was added to the to the detail view you can click on it you can delete it or you can use it so basically you can also um, upload not only pictures like jpegs or png data you can also upload pdf documents as well so sharpening protocols or technical um, technical designs so it really doesn't matter as long as it's a PDF so you can enrich your tool with uh, your own attachments um, in this case so when we're gonna go back and um, for example I want to work with a tool and it's already has a unique code for example from Loico where it's like a unique ID behind it you can go and scan I allow the camera to get access then you can go here you scan that code and um, Twinio recognizes the code and already opens up the action bottom sheet and now you can just scan it and then you can do one of the actions I already explained with the tools so it's super easy you can have everything in one application you can also work with hand scanners as well um, so you don't necessarily need to work with a scanner from Twinio you can also work with a hand scanner uh, which you already have in your company um, Adding a tool to the subscription is pretty easy. So first way is like uh, you use a scanner, you scan a barcode or a QR code or a DMC code from one of our integrated manufacturers and uh, you will have your tool in a digital way within five seconds. Second way is like you can choose either one of our partners here as manufacturers or if you have a tool from a not top your partner, you can easily click here on that uh, field and you create the name of that manufacturers you have the tools from. Um, that means like Twinio is working independently from manufacturers. So it's a little bit more work when you use a manufacturer which is not integrated into Twinio, but still you can use all the tools from your shop floor. 
Um, for example, I'm going to use here AKE, for example. Then I go through that hierarchy uh, tree. I say I want to add a saw blade and I want to add a main saw blade. And now Twinio displays all the catalog data from AKE, which they already sent us and got integrated into Twinio. So by just clicking on one uh, data, uh, data here and I say, yes, save it. Uh, so the tool, the saw blade from AKE is first digitalized, second has a unique code, so then you can print out the QR code and give it to the saw blade. Otherwise, if you don't find your data here in that long list, you can also search with the article number here. Uh, I can say, I want to add a new uh, item, and then you have to fill out manually seven fields, um, and then you create the tool also on the fly within a few seconds, uh, and then you can work with the tool. So yes, um, once again summarized, uh, we have integrated partner, you see it with the blue hooks, it's original data coming straight from the manufacturer. You can add specific files to the tool like pictures or PDF documents. You can assign locations for whole transparency for your tools. You have the conditions of the tools by looking on process data and limit values. You see the, uh, the, the, the number of sharpening cycles. You see the performance of the tools for the past, uh, how your tools were performed. If your machine is top ready and connected and has the technical requirements, then the machine can send process data to Twinio and can retrieve tool data straight from Twinio to start working on the machine by none typing manual, manually anymore any data into your machine. And you have an integrated scanner for identifying all the tools from integrated partner. You can also add all the tools on a manual way, manual way as well. And so basically, the sharpening process is right now on a manual way, but in the future we will also integrate sharpening services straight into Twinio so that you get the latest data, the latest data after sharpening for measuring, for example, straight in Twinio so you don't have to do anything on a manual way. So yeah, just go on store.tapio.one, click on Twinio, you get Twinio 30 days for free as a trial version. You can, I think, yeah, you can upload 30 tools for free. Then you can start working with it, see if it's working for you, for your company, for your colleagues, for your employees. And um, yeah, have fun with it and get your tool digitalized. Okay, see you soon. Bye.